In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use iClone to clean up mocap data. At the moment, if I were to press play, you can kind of see that the shoulders are a little bit too high. How about I go to the start and press play? You can see that kind of like the shoulders are a little bit too high, um, you know, square shoulders like this. And I think that's just because of the way that I wear the mocap suit, because I've got Sherman's disease. So the mocap kind of, I think does a little bit of funky stuff, but it's really simple to clean up. So at the moment, if I press pause and I select our character, I'm gonna find a nice spot where he's there. Now I know that shoulders should be relaxed. So what I can do is select the character, come over here into the motion stuff, and we can go edit motion layer. So what's gonna happen is the skeleton's gonna appear. From here up the top, I'm going to select the, the arrow thingamabobs, and let's select our arms, and I'm gonna move the arms down like so. So now we're kind of more of in a rest pose. And then we're gonna go with the rotation tool and I'm gonna rotate these around. Well, actually, no, sorry. Let's move them forward as well a little bit. And this one forward, something like that. There we go. The next thing we can do as well is I can even um, just give this maybe a little bit of rotation off there. And now, he's, now it looks a little bit more natural. And now that's not just for that keyframe, that actually does it for the whole video or for the whole motion. So now you can see his arms are a lot further out and you can see it looks a lot better. There's a little bit of clipping there, so I could probably bring the arm forward even a little bit more, but that is a very quick tip, a very powerful tip that if there is a blender add-on that can do that, please let me know because that is something that I'll be picking up straight away.